welcome back to Nature Nuggets and our look at reptiles. Um, we are going to talk about another one of my favorite groups, which a lot of people don't like, snakes. So a lot of times when uh, I'm doing this talk with a group of kiddos, I'll ask them, who's afraid of snakes? And it, you know, never fails. Quite a few of them raise their hand. And then I show them this little guy and I ask them, really? You're afraid of this guy? This is an Eastern ribbon snake. This is a, a small one. Um, they eat they eat small fish. They'll eat insects, small fish, and small amphibians. Um, they like to kind of hang out at the edge of water. And they're also one of the few reptile spe species uh, that give birth to live young. So like we've talked about, uh, reptiles lay their eggs on land and most reptiles lay eggs. These actually birth live young, which is pretty cool. So this little guy, definitely not scary. An eater of pests, they're good to have around. And I also tell kids, look, look at his, look at his mouth. Even if he wanted to bite you, he probably couldn't even open up his mouth very wide enough to hurt very much. Probably just tickle. So we actually in Maine no longer have any venomous species of snake, um, which is something I also share with kids and uh, to help them not be so scared of snakes. We used to have uh, a species of rattlesnake, but they are here no longer and that's because um people killed them all so you know this is usually our perception of a rattlesnake or of snakes in general something that's ready to attack um and it is this is the strike position this is so it can um strike fast and easy catch its prey and when they feel threatened this is the position that they get in um but people were so scared of them that they killed enough of them that there's no more left in the wild um, which is unfortunate because snakes are uh, one of the biggest controls of rodents uh, and other pests so they're actually beneficial to us um, another thing that i like to share about snakes and rattlesnakes is that um they, they don't want to bite you so venomous sna snakes it takes energy to produce venom and they only have a limited supply of it to use before their body has to produce more which requires more energy so they want to save their venom for catching prey if you think about it uh, a snake is trying to swallow its prey whole and if you're trying to eat something like a mouse or a rat or something that has sharp teeth it can be very damaging for a snake if they're try trying to swallow that whole while it's live so they have to kill their prey beforehand um some snakes are constrictor constrictors which means they squeeze they wrap around their prey and squeeze and then other snakes like a rattlesnake are venomous so they save their venom so they can eat they save it to catch prey which means they don't want to waste their venom protecting themselves Right, because if a rattlesnake bites you and uses its venom, that means it's probably going to go hungry later because it doesn't have any venom to kill its prey with. So they're not looking to bite you. Another thing I like to share, uh, rattlesnakes are also very lazy. They're very lazy snakes. Um, I was at a nature center in Texas. We went on a, on a night tour and the tour guide took us uh, in a tram by you know, in an area where they usually see a rattlesnake crossing this, the the trail, um, he comes to the same place about every about the same time every night, and he was so lazy. He just waddled his way, or not waddled his way, snaked his way through. Kind of looked at us, rolled his eyes, continued through as slowly as possible. Very lazy snakes, very lazy animals. And I say this, or I share this because. Um, a lot of times we have this perception of uh, reptiles and amphibians and snakes, especially that they're icky, that they're dangerous, that they're no good, when they actually play a very important role in our ecosystem in keeping our, our pest numbers down. Um, and 
both our society, our homes, and our ecosystem has, have suffered because we no longer have this predator here in Maine. Um, so just to share that and maybe help with some of your snake phobia, another really cool thing I have to show you guys is we do have a rattlesnake skin. There you go, and you can see the pattern. I'll unroll it for you. And then at the end, we have the rattle. The rattle is actually made um, from old skin. The rattlesnakes aren't born with it. At the end of their tail, there's almost kind of like a like a button that the skin gets caught on when they shed. Um, and so each shed, they add a new bit to their rattle. Now, some people think that you can tell the age of a rattlesnake uh, by counting the segments on the the rattle but that's actually not a reliable method because sometimes the rattle can break or fall off um, and then they grow a new one a better method is size and knowing how big what age correlates to what size a rattlesnake now this is an actual like the full skin right um but another really cool thing about snakes is when they shed their skin and you can find sheds so this you know was well um a snake that had died they they dried the skin but as snakes grow their skin doesn't grow with them which basically means they're they're it's almost like outgrowing your your clothes and then you have to get the next size up so a snake will eventually they get you know uncomfortable in their in their skin because they're outgrowing it they get kind of dry and itchy um and right before they shed their skin their eyes the scale that's covering their eyes snakes have a scale that covers their eyes uh will actually start to lift and their eyes get milky and cloudy and they're actually very vulnerable very very moody we used to have um an educational snake at one of the previous places i worked at and she would feel when she was getting ready to shed and her eye would start to get cloudy she get into the back corner of her cage and did not want to be messed with because they're very vulnerable they're basically blind um and then as that lifts off she would shed her skin and underneath they would they have um a bright new skin that they grow into so that's another cool thing a lot of times you can find the presence of snakes by finding their sheds and uh I need to get one to show you guys. We need one for this set. Anyway, that's just a really quick bit on snakes. Um, once again, there are no venomous snakes in Maine, so there's no need to kill any snakes you see. Just you go on your way and they're going, they'll go on theirs. All right, so we are on to our last reptile, which will be crocodilians next. Bye.